Hello everyone. Welcome to E-Classes by Dr. Adira. This video is to give a brief introduction on forensic odontology. You all must have heard of forensic medicine. It is a branch of medicine dealing with application of medical knowledge in criminal or civil legal cases. Forensic dentistry or forensic odontology is part of forensic medicine as dental evidences can be presented in the court in such criminal or civil procedures. The primary role of forensic odontologist is in identification of unknown, deceased or dead bodies. There are various situations demanding identification of grossly damaged human bodies. Situations can be mass disasters like earthquakes, tsunamis, a plane crash, road traffic accidents, man-made disasters like a bomb blast, etc. In all such situations, the dead bodies or deceased bodies will be grossly damaged, making identification difficult or even impossible by conventional methods like visual recognition or even fingerprints. But even in such cases, identification of deceased individuals is possible with dental evidences. If you ask how dental evidences are so very useful in forensic investigations, there are two main reasons. One is teeth or dentition is never seen in two individuals or they are unique. Another one reason is teeth can resist physical, chemical or even thermal decomposition for a very long time. Similar to teeth, parental rugae can also be used in forensic identification because they also resist decomposition to an extent and they are unique in individuals. Identification of deceased individual using teeth is possible even if the remnants are skeletonized because teeth can resist decomposition for a very long time. And the postmortem evidences that can be collected usually include the dentition or even the fixed to partial dentures or porcelain or metal crowns because such material also resist decomposition like your teeth. And anti-mortem records of suspected individual can be easily procured from the dentist. Anti-mortem records that is the pre-death data include OP chart, cast and also the radiograph. Identification of deceased individual is usually done in two ways, comparative identification and reconstructive identification. Both are done in different scenarios. The comparative identification is done only when some clue or circumstantial evidences exist about the possible identity of the dead individual. For example, if we collect anti-mortem or pre-death dental records of suspected individual, these can be compared with post-mortem dental evidences. If there is a match, the identity can be confirmed. Even if anti-mortem dental records are not available, dental DNA obtained from the teeth of dead individual can be compared with DNA of first degree relative. As you can see here, a comparison between the pre-death data and the dental evidences obtained in post-mortem can establish the identity of unknown human body. Reconstructive identification is done when there is no circumstantial evidence or clue available regarding the unknown body. The clue can be constructed by determining the ethnicity, determining the gender and also by estimating the age. This process is known as gender profiling. And there are various methods for ethnicity determination, gender determination and for age estimation. So by using various methods, dental profiling can be done which can develop or construct a clue of the unknown human body. If we have a clue or the suspicion, we can again go back to do the comparative identification as explained earlier. This will help in establishing the identity of the individual. Other than reconstructive identification, age estimation is also useful in living individuals to prove age. Since 18 years is the age of legal majority, there can be various 
related civil cases and also in criminal cases to decide the punishment of accused age proof was important as you all are aware one of the accused of nirbhaya case was below 18 years of age the punishment deferred so be it a simple civilian requirement or a serious crime estimation of age is mostly demanded and different methods of age estimation in forensic criminology can be useful in such cases another important role of forensic criminologist is in crime investigation like rape murder theft etc bite mark lip prints and dna from saliva can be used as valuable evidences from crime scene bite mark analysis has a particular protocol and method to be followed and again to tell this is very important in various criminal cases and taking example of nirbhaya again bite mark analysis played a very vital role favoring the judgment so this is very brief illustration on the role of dental surgeon in forensic investigation dental findings can act as important and valuable evidences in forensic investigations thank you